Hey guys, it's Ryder here, and I don't know if you're watching Legends of Tomorrow, but uh, it's insane right now. It is absolutely insane. I don't usually review these, and I'm not going to review this episode from last night. I don't even know what it's called. I don't even care what it's called. It was fantastic. By far one of my favorite episodes of the whole show. It shows that they have some balls when they completely direct a full episode completely towards the Legion of Doom. When they make the intro sequence, the, the voice over narration just the the legion of doom and what they were able to do with the legion of doom was make them what i i mean i was so excited about these guys i still am so excited that we have this as part of this dc tv universe but i was truly kind of worried that it, they would just kind of become like a like, like a typical a typical group of villains bad guys uh that are kind of always butting heads and while that's an interesting dynamic i think we've seen that so many times before and i thought this would be a plot point that continuously and continuously continued through the rest of the episodes i think right now we're on episode 10 or 11 or something like that so you know there's only i believe like i, I want to say like seven more episodes in the season so i was kind of expecting this to to kind of be the downfall of the legion of doom uh the the crazy thing and the coolest thing ever is by using a new kind of villain that hasn't even been around for a full year yet the black flash which i'll talk about in a minute they're using that character to bring these three together and uh, for for that that whole idea of of these big bad threats coming together, tearing themselves apart, that's not going to be the case here. Now it's about them actually working together, and it's really cool. It I think personally, I was not the biggest fan of the Damian Dark villain in Arrow. I thought that the whole magic thing was kind of stupid, and then it was just the totem. And it, I didn't, I, Arrow season four is probably my least favorite season. There were some great moments, but overall, I just didn't feel that for Damien Dark as a villain. I think it, at least this episode has completely elevated him to a new level for me. And same thing goes with Malcolm. Malcolm was losing his flair for me also within the last few episodes, uh, last few seasons, I mean, of Arrow. He hasn't been in anything. Season five yet, but season three, season four, Malcolm was just kind of weak to me. And I think I think Malcolm realizes that as well, and that's kind of his motivations, obviously, for this. Um, but I, I really appreciated the way that Rip Hunter was used. Uh, we're, we're about to talk about it, a ton about Rip Hunter, uh, but we got to talk about this Black Flash versus Reverse Flash. Okay. So if you're if you're right now watching Legend of Tomorrow season two, you're most likely watching the Flash season three and Arrow season five and maybe possibly even Supergirl season two, which leads me to believe that you did get to see the finale of the Flash season two. In which case, here's a spoiler warning. But again, I'm assuming you're at, you're caught up here. Okay, we saw Zoom Zoom get beaten by Time Wraiths because he had screwed with time so much with time remnants and you know going between. Multiple multi in the multiverse and he just he really screwed up the rules of the speed force and all of that so the time wraiths were after him and they got him and they transformed him into a very well-known character another very well-known uh flash villain the black flash which basically it, it's what happens it, it, when speedsters are about to die or when speedsters have fully screwed the the f up of a timeline or they're not in their place the black flash will come and take them to their death or or, you know, kind of reset things in, in a way, which really, if the Black Flash wasn't so much of a monster, I almost feel like he or it could team up with the Legends to kind of take down, you know, the Reverse Flash. But of course, you know, the Black Flash is the biggest villain of them all. He is basically the new Time Wraith now. He is going to come and in get you if you're if you're screwing with the timeline which you know I, I i'm kind of kind of wondering if we're going to see him kind of pop up on the flash depending on how they they decide to handle that with going into the future so i'm not really sure there that's fine um but we, we found out the reverse flash is he has been on the run from the black flash and ever since uh he he dropped barry off into the new flashpoint timeline the the post flashpoint timeline i guess i should say with you know savitar and killer frost and all of that ever since then and you know of course this this version that version of the reverse flash went off to you know be on legends we know that this is another incarnation of the reverse flash the the one that uh who who didn't go off and become harrison wells because obviously flashpoint 
I love that they address that though, because truly it, it's it's a little shaky on the whole thing, and I kind of I'm kind of wondering how they're gonna do this. I was actually hoping to see a full blown Black Flash versus Reverse Flash battle with Teddy Sears coming back. Now I wasn't even aware the Black Flash was coming back, so hopefully we're we're gonna see him again. Uh, but I thought it was a really interesting way. I also really enjoyed the the the, the way that the dynamic between uh, Damien Dark and Malcolm Merlin. I thought that was very interesting as well, and them them utilizing Rip Hunter. Now at the end of this, we 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 get to see that the Legion somewhat screw up with uh, kind of screw with uh, Rip Hunter's memories, which he's stored away, kind of maybe making him go rogue or you know jumbling his brain so that he is you know a villain in himself also. To me, this is going to be another very interesting aspect of all of this. You know, it, it's kind of, to me, the same the same thing I'm looking at this as, like, this is like a pre-Legion of Doom. Like, eventually, some somewhere in the future, you will probably see, you know, maybe it's in 2025 or 2030, there probably will be a version of the Legion of Doom with Lex Luthor and Gorilla Grodd and maybe even the Joker, okay? We, we have no idea. Maybe not, maybe there is. Uh, who knows, right? You don't know. Um, but I feel like this is the pre-version of... Of the uh, the Legion of Doom, very similar as to how it seemed like Zoom was the pre version of the Black Flash, like he was destined to be the Black Flash. This is like the pre version of the Legion of Doom, which leads me to believe that something is going to happen with Rip Hunter, with timelines, with screwing with memories that maybe will either turn this this group into something, you know, via time travel, a, a different version of, of the Legion of Doom, or kind of spark something for the Legion to grow. Uh, but as for Rip Hunter being a villain, the rest of the season i don't think so uh because the, the, for the first like 10 episodes we didn't see anything of rip hunter except for like the first two and then i think it was like episode nine or ten so there was like a huge six seven episode chunk of episodes where, where there was no rip hunter they, they didn't even really talk they thought he was dead and i think that they are going to do different things with this character maybe he comes back to normal within the next couple of episodes but expect it sooner rather than later i don't think they're going to drag this out too long uh but this season's been fantastic and i'm looking forward to seeing where else it goes and, and what they set up for the following season because it has been renewed for another season. Uh, you guys let me know your thoughts on Black Flash versus Legion of Doom and how they're they're handling Rip Hunter. What do you think the future of the Legion is going to look like and what do you think the, about the future of the Black Flash and how they decided to handle this character? I think it's purely fantastic. So great. So, so many so many great decisions that they're, they're, they're choosing right now and uh, I can't wait to see how this all turns out. So uh, just a little heads up. I I have not seen The Flash yet. I have not seen Arrow for this week. So I'm going to kind of move the days around. Uh, right now I'm not reviewing S.H.I.E.L.D. So here's the new kind of ish schedule for Flash and Arrow reviews. Just expect this within the next couple of months just because of things that have that are non-YouTube that have con- kind of come into my life more personal and or just other obligations I have. So Flash and Arrow reviews will most likely now be dropping on Fridays. Um, that's all just because, like I said, it, it just not it's not teaming up. And you guys do seem to still watch my reviews even days after the, the episodes have actually aired. So just expect those now. And uh, for Legends and Supergirl, sim- like videos like this are going to pop up for sp- those specific episodes. Uh, I know within the next couple of weeks there are some really cool things going on at Supergirl. So you guys can let me know if you want a review or maybe just kind of video like this, kind of just talking about some of the cool things. Uh, for Supergirl and uh, and or future episodes of Legends. So you guys let me know about that. And thank you so much for watching and, and watching my Flash and Arrow stuff. It's been a lot of fun this last couple of years. And I uh, can't wait for more. I'm Ryder signing off with Infinite Attitude. And keep riding, guys. Bye.